Black Urban Talk Radio is something I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. I've, I've observed Black Urban Radio over the past 20 years as both a listener and working in uh, various roles in radio. And, you know, today I just have to say it. I am, I've had it. I am sick and tired of the foolishness that, foolishness that I've, I've seen, especially as of within the last few years. I want to talk about uh, a, a couple of interesting trends in what is known as black urban radio. And uh, those trends include the incorporation of so-called inspirational content and also the promotion of some interesting ideology, some ecumenicist, universalist, and also pan-Africanist ideologies, which pan-Africanism to me is nothing but warmed over new age teaching. But uh, I want to talk about those trends and also you just make a few points about the radio business because I think it shows some very interesting things as to what the decision makers in media uh, apparently think about black Christians and black people in general or African American people in America. Now, what I talk, what I mean by this black urban radio, what do I mean by that? Well, black urban talk radio, I'm talking about morning shows and also issue oriented talk shows so like morning shows typically have like a stable of comedians. So the host will be a comedian. Then there'll be some uh, a running stable of comedians who kind of come in and talk about the music industry. Then Typically, the people are linked to the entertainment industry. And then um, you also have another format, another formula known as, uh, I guess, what would be issues-oriented talk. And um, so you have those t- tend to typically be people who are politically connected, who are the hosts of the program or the guests of the program typically uh, are politically connected and they're typically talking about the politics of the day and and whatnot. Now, I want to go through a few shows and kind of just, you know, point out some things that I've observed over the years to sort of support what I mean about uh, uh, regarding these trends that I'm seeing <clears throat> that I've seen in black urban radio. I'm quite sure you all have seen them, too. Um, but <clears throat> let's take the Tom Joyner morning show. Now, a lot of people have heard of this show. Uh, it's nationally syndicated. Tom Joyner Morning Show features, uh, you know, a lot of comedians, and uh, along with that, another show, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, is another type of sh- type of show in this morning show format. Uh, everyone knows who Steve Harvey is. Steve Harvey is a comedian. He's got a book out now. He's also a relationship guru now. And then there's another uh, talk show called the Ricky Smiley morning show now Ricky Smiley is also a comedian he I I believe he had to start as sort of like a quote-unquote gospel clean comedian now the interesting thing about these these morning shows that I named they all kind of have a formula and as I mentioned they have a stable of comedians they they have um, you know they have uh, a a, a sort of set um, uh, set variety of content you know they have a little political. They have some, uh, you know, they have some comedy. With they they typically have a topic, usually topic driven. Um, but uh, one interesting thing I've seen with these shows is they they, which is, I think is very strange, is they typically have a homosexual uh, as part of the a homosexual man as part of the. Uh, you know the the crew or the cast uh, that's there for for entertainment value, and I, it seems like it's just if you have if if you're in Black Urban Radio and you have a, a morning show or talk a morning show, that's part that's the part of the format. You got to have a gay man on there. Uh, I think on the Time Morning Show for years they had a gay man giving relationship advice. Uh, on the Ricky Smiley show, he's he's got a homosexual man on there. I don't know what his name is, but you know, here locally in Atlanta, uh, Frank Ski and Wanda Morning Show, uh, a drag queen, open drag queen on there by the name of uh, Miss Sophia. So it's just ridiculous 
um, I think that <laughs> I don't understand why that's got to be part of a, a successful formula. But, you know, after they carry out all of this ungodliness, having homosexuals on the show and drag queens and and discussing all kinds of nonsense at at the beginning of the show or the end of the show they play some gospel music or they might have a guest preacher on and in the case of Frank Ski and Wanda in the morning show they do something called the inspirational vitamin where Frank Ski comes on and reads some scriptures and 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 it's really just kind of odd that (laughs) for lack of a better term that they discuss all kinds of devilment throughout the day and then uh, the, the same hosts uh, try to uh, uh, deliver, basically try to preach after they've. <laughs> it's, it's just really kind of kind of interesting. Um, let's talk about some of these other talk shows, uh, issue oriented talk. You got the Al Sharpton show. Now the Al Sharpton show, everybody knows who Al Sharpton is. Inter- interesting thing about his show, one of the interesting things is he has a close relationship with a so-called prophet, master prophet named E. Bernard George. Did you, and you heard what they say his friend said? His friend told TMZ he called him and said, the girl I went ghetto. <laughs> said, I would have to get a Kobe ring for her. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. She didn't go get her. She run about the house all the time. Broke out the back window of the car. Now that's straight out the hood. <laughs> e. Bernard Jordan is one of the biggest false teachers that you will ever encounter or come across uh, I don't even I'd have to do a whole nother video about him but it's just it strains credulity how Al Sharpton is you know on a serious issues oriented talk show talking about the issues of the day but he will have a uh, so called master prophet E. Bernard Jordan on his show uh, prophesying and basically fortune telling. Uh, the Warren Ballantyne show. Um, Warren Ballantyne is an attorney. He uh, does issues oriented talk. I heard him on on the show uh, promoting. He, prom- he he talks about the love of Jesus at the end of his program. But throughout the program, he's promoting books and ideologies that are totally antichrist. Like I heard him uh, the other day promoting. Uh, 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 the, the philosophies of Louis Farrakhan and uh, this he was promoting a book called the the ISIS papers now <laughs> if anybody's read the ISIS papers and knows anything about the ISIS papers that is one of the most racist and wacky books uh, ever written is written by uh, Francis Chris Welsing uh, just just crazy um Another talk show here in Atlanta, a local talk show, Lorraine Jock White. She has a local talk show. She's supposedly one of the most influential black women in Amer- in, in Atlanta. Now, she's supposed to be a minister of the gospel and the wife of a megachurch pastor. Uh, one of the most influential pastors in the city of Atlanta. But <laughs> she's on the show this morning defending Tupac, <laughs> saying that he was a a conscious rapper and she was cutting people off for for disagreeing with her and <laughs> as a matter of fact she had E. Bernard Jordan on her program so you know you, just, just to kind of wrap up these talk shows are um, it's almost like they're trying to become the new black church I mean they're introducing this these concepts of spirituality and inspirationalism in their program and and, you know by contrast when you look go to the AM dial and listen to um, black uh, or urban gospel programs all you hear is music you don't hear any teaching Uh, so in the African American community there's no there's a dearth on radio of 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 teaching on radio now if you turn to a, a station where it's a majority uh, I'll just, for lack of a better term, a white Christian station. You'll hear teaching all day. So <laughs> the only quote-unquote kind of teaching that is going on is through these urban radio stations, but it's not the right kind of teaching. Uh, so I just think it's something interesting. Uh, you know, these these programs provide a, 
a platform for false teachers to to, to gain an even great, greater foothold in the church. Uh, this is just all kinds of issues, um, you know. And I, I've kind of just gotten tired of 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 these of these kinds of shows on the air because I don't think that they're really moving um, black people, African American people, in the right direction for the most part. Uh, anyway, that's my rant. Take care. God bless. <laughs>